Hey YouTube, uh, just uh, gonna give you a quick review of these KitSound Voice One smart speakers. Uh, the, there's a pair here um, that I've bought. I haven't done an unboxing for a little while. I'm just gonna show you, this is my uh, essentially AQ audio device. Um, this is a very old uh, speaker system. It's uh, used with iTunes um, and you can stream it around the house, but it's uh, not a Sonos system. Uh, and, uh, and as a result of which it doesn't have any intelligence built into it, but uh, it gives some really good sound, uh, but it's getting quite old. It's actually battery operated as well, which is quite good. But these ones are slightly different. These have got the, uh, the Amazon A word uh, on the, the box itself. Um, you can see here uh, that they're fairly large. Um, what features do we have on it? Uh, well, we have voice activation, uh, we have multi-room connectivity, uh, they have a stain resistant cover, uh, on the actual uh, outside of the speaker material. Uh, you can charge a USB device from it and there's Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, and obviously it connects up to your home Wi-Fi. So what's the advantage of these things? Well, um, with the Amazon A word, uh, you can obviously talk to the speaker and tell it to do various uh, things. So you can put it in the kitchen, you can have it up in the bedroom um, or in the living room, and you can command it to do things. It also connects up to Spotify. So it's got some uh, very nice sort of uh, features as far as that's concerned. So what is the, uh, the actual speaker itself? Well, it's uh, a dual drive speaker. So uh, effectively it's got uh, uh, speakers either side, and then it's got a bass port at the back uh, and uh, it's a relatively cheap uh, system and apparently you can connect up to eight of them. So I have two here uh, and, uh, and we will use them in the house uh, in various locations. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to unbox it at the moment. Uh, so uh, let me open up the, uh, the packaging uh, and get into the, uh, the device itself. So I see that uh, uh, it's actually pretty well packed up. Um, the, uh, the RRP on these are around about, according to Amazon anyway, are around about uh, £129. Amazon selling them for £79, uh, but you can locate them in, in other locations, uh, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, this hasn't, uh, this I actually bought, it's not sponsored, uh, so uh, it is actually my own money uh, that I've uh, invested in this technology. Uh, so I'm going to give you a very honest review as to how this thing works um, once I've got it actually uh, set up. So. Uh, now we're going to take the, uh, the cover uh, out of this, uh, this box itself. It's got a, a little pull tag down here, uh, so uh, obviously to uh, allow you to remove it from the bottom by looks of things. I'm going to lie it down just to make absolutely certain uh, and, uh, and we can actually record some of the content. So let me uh, pull the device out. Uh, I'm hoping that it just slides out through this. Yep, there we go. So, ooh. well, looks like it should slide out. Okay, so there we go. So let's uh, open up the packaging, and the packaging looks like this. So uh, here's the unit itself. Um, let me take out the speaker. There's the speaker. Here's the box. Um, premium looking box, obviously. Uh, underneath here is all of the various cables. So it's mains powered. Um, and, uh, and the like. So you can see here uh, that we have a very nice uh, plastic cover protecting uh, the box itself. Let me put this one back in just so that uh, we keep everything nicely together. So let me, uh, let me do some uh, bit of sort of close-up work on this so we can actually sort of see um, what, uh, what the unit actually looks like. So uh, just uh, giving you a bit of an insight onto the sales pitch of what uh, Kit Sound is doing, what's in the, the content of the box. QR code there to set it all up. Again, signature sound, etc and the front of the box, like so. So these are the features. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have uh, the, uh, the iTunes connectivity, but you can obviously connect it to any Bluetooth device that there is. So let's, uh, let's take a little bit of a closer look at, uh, at the unit itself and, uh, and see what we have here. So 
So we've got the, uh, the plastic cover over the top of it. There's the side of it. There's the back of it. There's the connections on the bottom. Um, so let's, uh, let's unpackage the, uh, the actual rest of the unit itself. So it um, uh, doesn't quite slide off because of course it's uh, being stopped by that. So let's take the, uh, the stickers. So it sort of feels quite premium. Uh, this is quite plasticky on top, so that doesn't feel so premium on it. Let me get it out. So there we there we go. That's the uh, that's what the speaker looks like. Um, on the top, you've got uh, the two microphones uh, for it to listen to the the Amazon A word. Um, so you've got two speakers on the side. On the back, you've effectively got the bass port, um, as well as uh, the uh, the power input. So it's got the power supply built into it. Uh, five volts at 2.1 amps on USB line in. Um, as well as obviously pairing with the uh, Wi-Fi in your house using WPS. So you pay, press the WPS button on your router and you pair it with this device as well so you can actually link it to the uh, Wi-Fi in your house. Um, let's have a look inside the box. So nice little box here. So there's uh, some connectivity instructions. Fairly basic. Um, looks to be in a variety of languages, probably a few more bits and pieces of how to set it up, some more explanation on it, etc, etc. Um, we have the, the premium remote control, so that's the premium remote control here, let me get that out. And it's got the little uh, tag inside it, so you can actually pull out um, when you're ready. And, and this is, uh, feels fairly heavy, fairly tactile. Power leads, you've got US, uh, you've got the uh, connection for uh, a device which requires a, um, a, a normal uh, Phono 3.5 millimeter Phono jack. Uh, you've got a European cable, and then as we're in the UK, we've got a UK cable. So uh, fairly all in all, fairly good setup. So let me again take uh, uh, a bit more of a closer look at the unit itself. So we've got uh, the dial here, which you can adjust, which obviously is the uh, where you actually adjust the volume and uh, the various settings uh, to actually pair up the device, play music, etc, uh, etc. Et uh, for those of you who are interested, these are the two microphones uh, that are actually on the top. Um, quite a premium feel on the cloth. It's apparently got some nanotechnology inside it, uh, but this is fairly plasticky um, and there are the connections on the side here. Uh, one nice touch is that uh, you've obviously got there logo um, actually on the side here as well. So uh, let's, uh, let's plug it in and, and start it up and see what happens. Now of course first of all it's going to need to uh, connect to the, the internet and probably will need some firmware updates and I believe what you do is you actually um, pair the device up with um, uh, their, uh, it becomes a, a small Wi-Fi hub in its own right, you connect up to the Wi-Fi hub, you set up its configuration, uh, you obviously attach it to the, uh, the home network and uh, then it pulls through all of the, the various uh, configurations from your uh, Wi-Fi uh, settings from your mobile phone. And it works with Android and, and, and Apple respectively. So, first time for powering it on. Let's put the, uh, there's the electricity on it. Uh, Main lead is on. Ah, and uh, we have a light obviously flashing on it at the moment. So, powering up for the first time, please wait. Wi Fi mode. Yep, so as, as we said, it's in Wi Fi mode. So, um, what I then need to do now is to get the, um, uh, the actual One Voice QR code app working. So, let me do that. Um, well, this took a little bit longer than expected, so I had to shut down all of my other Wi-Fi nodes in the house. So I have uh, Wi-Fi nodes which uh, run over the power line, and uh, in the kitchen I have a 2G and a 4G, sorry, a 2G and a 5G network. Uh, and um, there was some conflict with the application on the device and the speaker, and the Muso cobblestone uses 
pretty well much exactly the same interface and the same software, uh, and I think they were just not getting uh, compatible. So I shut down the Muso cobblestone uh, to allow me to connect up to this device, made the connection, did the updates, uh, connected up to the uh, uh, to Spotify Premium uh, so that I could actually get um, Amazon A to actually uh, respond to the Spotify uh, request and uh, you need to download the Amazon app, uh, Alexi app uh, effectively um, onto, the, uh, onto the iPad or onto the, the phone. Uh, in the end I, I did it on the iPad because I just couldn't get the phone to basically play nice I think because it's got a mobile network and a wireless network and uh, the, uh, the two were just conflicting and it was just not finding itself out. So I took the, the iPad, basically connected up to my 2.4 gigahertz uh, network, shut down all of the other nodes inside the house, just ran off the router itself, it made the connection and, uh, and we're working now. So let me switch it on and, and show you, and hopefully by moving into this room, um, we will uh, we'll be able to uh, give you a, an idea as to how it works. Wi-Fi mode. So now I should be trying to connect up to my 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless network, which is in the study. Uh, and uh, it's a little bit far away, so it may not uh, give me a particularly strong signal, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, that is sufficient for it to connect up. Yep, so that's like the Muso cobblestone, very similar setup. So that usually will now say Wi-Fi connected in a few seconds once it's actually connected. Connected to your Wi-Fi network. Perfect, so that's connected up to the Wi-Fi network. Uh, so let's uh, let's give um, the uh, the unit a, a bit of an idea. So Alexa, what's the weather today? Sorry, I have trouble understanding right now. Please try later. Alexa, how big is the moon? The moon's diameter is three thousand four hundred and seventy-four point eight kilometers. How many astronauts walked on the moon? So it doesn't respond. Alexa, how many astronauts walked on the moon? Twelve astronauts is someone who has walked on the moon. So as you can see there, that looks pretty good. Uh, Alexa, play Spotify. Here is Spotify. So let's see how loud it can get. Pull the tag out. So the remote control basically has play and pause. Um, you have the ability to change the sources. Uh, you have volume up and down and skip left and right track. Uh, and you've also got uh, essentially a privacy button on here uh, so you can actually mute the speaker itself. Um, and I think inside the application uh, there was uh, some information about uh, setting up the privacy settings as well. Mm -hmm. 